this is pretty amazing. Uh, the only lake I know that disappears about every year or 20 years, kind of like the Lost Dutchman of Florida lakes. And let me hit the, okay. Lake Jackson in Tallahassee, Florida, it drains about every 10 or 20 years. And this is a lake here, it's a large lake. I visited, you'll see in the center, it says Falk Landing. And that's where I went this morning. Uh, it's north of Tallahassee, uh, just to the east of Highway 27, Monroe Street, US 27. Very interesting history, which I, I need to mention. Tallahassee, the city is to the south in kind of midtown Tallahassee, around Lake Ella, Andrew Jackson came by. It's believed that area. And there's some Aboriginal, uh, a mound complex, Lake Jackson Mound, about seven mounds. You see this green Pentagon here. That's a state park, you can visit them today. There was other mounds in the area where you see Capitol Circle and I-10. On the Northeast of that, there used to be some a mound complex there. One of the mounds still remains. It was active during the Spanish mission chain. So some interesting history there. And you see that black oval, that's where I visit. There's a sinkhole. Tallahassee was established as a city in 1824, almost 200 years ago. And the first thing they, they did was Florida needed a surveyor general to establish the survey line that all survey lines in the state of Florida or the territory of Florida would be established after that. So they brought in Army, former Army officer Robert Butler. He was actually a ward of Andrew Jackson, raised by Andrew Jackson. And he became the surveyor general in 1825 and established the prime meridian. You see Meridian Road that goes by Lake Ella. That is where the prime meridian was established. There's a park to the south of that in Tallahassee, uh, uh, Cascades Park, which was where the actual meridian mark was. And you know, he just shot a point north and south from there. Why they picked that, it's a little uncertain. Uh, Robert Butler, he had a plantation where Lake Jackson mounds where you can actually see remains of his earthworks and where his mill was. And that's why the lake is called Lake Jackson. It's on that in, uh, in the earliest maps in the 1820s. And of course he named it after his hero and the first territorial governor, Andrew Jackson. Um, the mounds, the, the name that comes from antiquity is Okahipki. And there's been debate whether to change it from Jackson to Okahipki, uh, but there is historic precedence. I think a lot of people have trouble saying Okahipki and uh, fumble around with the name. So I don't know. Uh, but every 10 or 20 years, the lake drains down. This huge lake disappears. There's a sinkhole at that black opal. And every few years it becomes unplugged and the lake drains down where it goes. It goes straight into the aquifer. Nobody knows from there. It just disappears, goes into the underworld. And this is what it looked like this morning when I went out to visit. You see the lake, remnants of the lake in the background, the lily pads and mud flats. It looks like a little ravine, a gully here. You see the lime rocks sticking out. And a lot of footprints you'll see there. Uh, they had cleanup, uh, fish and wildlife. Uh, shout out to them, did a great job. Uh, I would have been there if I knew about it. <laughs> uh, and people got together and cleaned up all the trash. It looks really nice, cleaned up. And on either end of this ravine, there's, it looks like little creeks running in and disappearing at the bottom. You can't see the bottom because uh, you really should stay behind the caution tape. You'll see the caution tape on either end. And that's one, one of the sides there. Uh, 
that's on the right side of the ravine and that's on the left side and just watching the water pour down see a little the pool there and it's kind of a constant flow and the lake I think it kind of disappeared about a week ago. That's as early as I see the news stories. And goes in into the ravine. Okay, I apologize for the shakiness of the video. Uh, the, that was all done on my cell phone. So, you know, I'm, I'm not high tech. I don't have expensive equipment. So um, that's all I can <laughs> do. Uh, another thing is that I was looking towards the east. It was eight o'clock in the morning. The sun was shining right in my face. I really couldn't see why I was filming on the phone, the glare and everything but i figure that's a good time to go out there there where there wouldn't be a crowd of people um you know if you do get a chance to go out there and see that it's really unique uh florida has karst geography limestone geography with the aquifer underneath and so this is a unique thing in the around florida i don't know any lake that disappears every 10 or 20 years 